Hi there, it's Nikki and Hi there. Steve in the woodland. It's been, it's been a few days since we've done the live, isn't it? Yeah. Um, we've had quite a good day today. Um, you've been digging trenches. Yeah. No, not well, been digging not... trenches. You've been filling trenches. Filling trenches, yeah. Singular trench. Trench. <laughs> with. Yeah, yeah with some, <laughs> some rocks. I, I started, I thought, right, okay, let's start filling it in now. Um, and went over to the old barn. Thought, right, let's, let's do this. It's two jobs done in one. So we're clearing some of the barn out. And uh, at the same time, getting the rocks that we want to put in to there we want something between like golf ball size and uh, half a football size or, or melon size if you like so yeah started digging and I, I came up with a piece of um, interesting it was that one there wasn't it interesting piece of which one this one no I think that no but we, one of those, one yeah of we, we came up against something yeah, I think that looked like one. this. Yeah. Um, and as you can see, it's got like patterns on it. And this this was deep in the soil. It wasn't like placed on top. This was within the mm. stones and the mud, wasn't it? That yeah. had fallen. Right underneath, yeah. And so um, we started digging. Yeah. Didn't we? For more rocks. We and did. And we've been doing that all day, just getting the rocks out that we need and. Finding other bits, bits and pieces. So we found quite a lot of bits. Um, it's absolutely brilliant, really, because we found these that have got, seems like we were maybe a curved edge, don't know. It could be under guttering. And again, it's got this pattern on it. And then we've got other pieces with this similar, almost like a rope like pattern. And then other ones with with ridges. There's one that almost kind of looks like the point, like a, a leaf shape. And then we've got other ones of the plane. And we have no idea, do we, right now? Especially this one kind of threw us, I think. Because it's curved. See, you could think that that's um, the base of a bowl. Um, I'm, I'm kind of thinking it's something to do with the roof because we found it all the way spread along about uh, eight, ten feet of bank of the old house bricks. Yeah, and so it's, and it's rounded in shape. It, and it's, it's quite thick, you know, yeah. it's a good inch and a half there, so it's really robust stuff and we just don't know why it's yeah i mean it's it's obviously not straight it's curved here as well and then with these the same yeah these are big chunky things it, it, it kind of makes you think that that's the base but it's got you can't see it now because it's dirty but it's got like wavy lines done yeah. all over it so yeah I don't know. It's got patterns on both sides, which means yeah. it would have needed to be seen from both sides. I think maybe from underneath, it's it might be oh. like a gutter. But then you know you've got this side as well. You've got the, you've got the pattern here. Yeah, but that would be seen from below. That's what I'm saying. And then the pattern here. Yeah. So I don't. So know. So this would have needed to be seen as well, otherwise it wouldn't have got a pattern. It's it's really. Don't know. It's quite a mystery at the minute. Um. I mean, they're, they're, they're all the same. They've all got this wavy pattern. We can only know and when, we, when we find more. We hope we're going to find more. If anybody knows what this could be, um, please do let us know. <laughs> and then we found the bricks, haven't we? We have found some bricks, yeah. Which is quite unusual because the whole house is in stone. And I know around this area, like in the Vendée as well, they do use bricks for lining the windows but i don't know from when that started and then it's also got writing on them so i've worked out that this is payi so p-a-i-double-l-e-r and newick which is not far from here 
and then we've still got to try and work out what these words are and there's words at the bottom and it's all from the the same company yeah it's very exciting linda <laughs> so do i i really hope we can we can piece this i really do there's a piece of you said jigsaw yeah i don't know what yeah it is. i think it's just rubbish that was thrown in there. well that was deep in that was in the soil oh, right. far in i don't know um we found some pottery as well that's an old plant pot these could have been plant pots and then typical french these bottles here with the, the hole that's yeah very typical old french and then another smaller one again buried so it's it's quite a fine really it's been a really exciting day hasn't it it is yeah and as i say two well, three jobs in one, really, um, because the soil we're digging out there, we must have four or five barrow loads of soil. Really good quality stuff. Yeah. That's just, yeah. Um, so that's, we'll put that on our plot. We've been busy doing, we're going to talk about that. Yeah, let's go and have a, let's go and have a little, a walk around. Yeah. So, what you've been doing. <laughs> so please note that the gloves are hung up so that no dogs get them. <laughs> <laughs> if you can see that the lay of the land it comes down to a slope here and then it rises up hence one side of the trench is like 24 inches and the other one's like 20 inches so that naturally slopes down to here and the high point so water would have been coming down here right the way through the middle of the uh, the veggie part um so all this soil i think what we're going to do is we're going to push it over and make this level to the same sort of level as the the chicken run and then we can put all the, the soil that we've got do you want to yeah i'll go we're going uh we talk about the, what? Bricks first. So here the, the rocks there are the rocks that we've we've taken out of there that is halfway down the run. So that's, yeah. uh, that's four and a half metres. Not quite topped up enough yet. But uh, yeah, we've got to dig out a few more barrel loads really just to top it all off. And then that will be sorted. It'll be great. Yeah. We can start putting some tile down. Yeah. Get rid of some of the tile too. Exactly. <laughs> that was another job that we've been doing as well, sorting out piles of tile. Yeah, yeah, right, very, very much. Yeah, yeah it is. Oh, yeah, um, but yeah, over to the... the barn. And I've also just been clearing out this bit as well because this was covered in, in nettles and a bit of brown, a lot of nettles. So clearing that out because we're going to extend the um, where the, 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 the food forest, yeah. And probably put courgettes in there, whatever. So I was busy doing that again yesterday. And then we might even do some uh, three sisters, I think it's called, isn't it? Three yes. Three sisters planting. Yeah, three sisters planting is a technique from used in South America, and I think it's Native American technique, where they plant companion plants. Yes, um, corn, and as corn is tall and sturdy, you then grow the beans up the corn, and the beans feed. The soil with nitrogen and then you also plant squashes or courgettes because they have very large leaves and they tend to keep the weeds out and the soil cool so it's a way of companion planting so yeah we'll be doing that over there so here we have it In so yes yeah. eight feet or whatever it is section um these are all the tumbled down rocks um, we know that because some of this stuff was inside of yeah. what, all the rocks, so it's, we've not reached the wall yet. And that, that soil you can see is soil that we've actually pulled out, so we've actually dug deep in this. We've actually kind of like filling in the holes we're going yeah. around, shifting the soil. There's, there's a, probably a ton of soil there to take yeah. over into the I mean, plot. this is, yeah, it's, it's, it's really good stuff. Yeah. It's fantastic, absolutely brilliant. So yeah, this is all naturally composted down, but a lot of bricks. Yeah, 
rocks. Brocks, yeah, yeah, rocks. Yeah, so that's uh, that's okay. We yeah, can, we can live with that. Yeah, definitely. We'll face some of the soil in and, and grow some uh, rockery plants in it. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you look at this, we've got uh, I don't know about 25, 30 feet, say, from where we started here to to the wall down that end. So that's plenty of room. Yeah. Uh, and this bit here. Yeah. So this is how, we've just realised as well, how deep this is. We've right. got another couple of feet to dig yeah. on the side where we've been this morning to get to the same level. Because yeah. this, I think, we actually got down to, to floor level. Yeah, because we know that, because the wheels would have been on the floor. Yeah, Everywhere. exactly, yeah, yeah. true. <laughs> and also the, the, yeah, the, the soil chains as well. And yeah. just while we're here, so I've been digging out all these. There was a massive pile of tiles here, so obviously the roof caved in from here so I've been digging out and there's still more un under here as well but if you can see where that wall goes back to it's the other side of this tree here uh, that's where the wall is so all yeah. this stuff has just fallen in yep yep so there's a hell of a lot yeah it goes up what to do here we need to move that or not? I don't know I don't think we do we can create our own wall there basically I see that, yeah, I see it as, as it goes on and develops. Yeah. It's, I mean, this place is full of surprises. It yeah. really is. I can't wait to see what else is coming. I think you're down to the floor level there. And that's all we've got to do. Yeah, yeah. oh no, but there's still more tiles, I think, under this. I think there's still oh, okay. more. Well. Um, so we've got a lot for the, the paths and everything else. There's more tiles over there. So, it's just... yeah, it's been, it's been about trying to fill in the uh, the trench for the chicken run uh, collecting the stones as you can see here there's loads of small stones that's that's what we're yeah after. yeah um, all these the these yeah. ideal sizes yeah plenty of it. there's no shortage for us <laughs> it does give us all we need i mean it's it's mad really and we we're actually beginning to realize that the size of this building Oh, and the other thing we found, well, we reckon that there was two doorways in. Um, there was one, obviously, for the tractor. If you can see, um, there's a large stone here and another one here. That would have marked the entrance, so that's wide enough to get a vehicle through. Or whatever they were using. Carts, yeah, it's a bowl, yeah. One there and one here. Yep, and then the over the nettles. Which is probably and then another one here. So we've got another stone here and another one there. So that was probably, you know, could have been to a workshop or something just for, for people to walk in. Um, so you can see that that is the the edge of the wall is, is pretty big. I, I worked it out roughly, it's about 20 odd metres by 20 odd metres. That's big. <laughs> yeah, so 40 metres square, yeah. 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 20 yeah. times 20. A 20 400 metres. 400 metres square. That's big. Yeah, I'm not, yeah. That is big. So, yeah. That wouldn't be, yeah. There you go. It was a big building. And if that was something to do with uh, the bricks were for around windows or for, uh, they do have a variation on a theme. They, they make their buildings look very posh with all this fancy brickwork and uh, tiling. I have a suspicion that that's something to do with that. There's, there's too much of it um, to be anything else in that short space. Well, um, yeah. Well, what's really weird though is we can't find anything about this building on any of the maps. Yeah. It doesn't appear at all. So yeah. I've got to go down to the memory and, and ask them because normally it would have appeared on one of them, but it hasn't. And, it, and I've got found maps dating back to the to the 1800s. 
early 1800s, if not before then, I think even before. I think it was 16. It was 1700, around 1700, I think. Yeah. Yeah, and it wasn't on, and it wasn't on on the 1850, 1850 map, so. Which is very, really strange. But anyway, yeah. But yeah, so, it's, it's been a, a good day, really. It has. Yeah. And I'm so pleased with this veggie plot as well that is, yeah. that's coming through. Got a few bits and pieces up there waiting to go in. We yeah. have. Yeah, well, they are, yeah, the Jerusalem artichokes we might be planting down here because we've found that yeah, Jerusalem artichokes um, are a very good source of food, and they don't have so much sugar in them as potato. They have inulin, which is um, it's got a much lower index of I think glycemic index than potato. So it's much better for your health, and that they're easy to grow because once you leave a tiny bit in the soil, they will just they will just yeah multiply. So here's a veggie plot. So this was covered in bramble, if you remember, and now it's coming into this. So, so far, we've got tomatoes to go in. Um, endive, which like chicory endive and celeriac. And then we also have potatoes to go in. And then I've also got seeds to go in as well, with radishes and beans and carrots. carrots. Yeah. Melons, beans. Um, we've also timed it, haven't we? We've time lapsed, taken a picture every hour to see where the sun goes, and it's yeah. got a lot of sun on this yeah. in the afternoon. And in pretty the morning, good. It's uh, pretty good, isn't it? So, yeah. Yeah. But it all gets a break. It's not baked. Because sometimes the problem here is that, yeah, you put it in full sun and it's going to get baked. Yeah. So this is good because we get little bits, little patches of shade that move around. Mm. As the sun moves. Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's perfect. It's perfect. It's, um, we, you know, we, we're still... We're amazed, aren't we? Every time we just stop and say, Oh my God, what, what, <laughs> <laughs> what have we achieved in this short length of time? And it's perfect timing, really, because the vegetable patch, obviously that's been a big thing to get it in time for the growing season, so in May. And that's bang on cue. Yeah. And then, yeah, the, the, the chicken pen is, is looking lovely. Let me see that there now. It will do. It'll Wonderful. Do. And it's how oh, it's warm. Yeah, it's very it's warm. It's very warm. We're probably going to call it a day now. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a long day sitting out in that sun. <gasps> it <clears> is. <throat> and we have this license just doing the investigation. Yeah, works inspector. Yep. When she was little, we always found amongst the plants, always yeah. sitting in plant pots. Ah, so, yeah, I yeah. think that's it. Yeah, I think so. Well, thank you for joining us, and I hope you found that interesting. Yeah. Uh, we did. <laughs> so if anybody has any idea, any clues what those bits were, please do let us know. Um, we're hoping to find more, and then we can really piece it together a bit more and yeah. have a bit more of an idea, but... Yeah, we found treasure. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, um, on that note, it's a goodbye from her. And it's a goodbye from him. <laughs> See you all soon. Thanks for joining Bye. us. Bye. <laughs>